Coach Darren here, fitness over 50, where we don't grow old. No, we age like a fine wine. One of the biggest complaints I hear from people is, I can't motivate myself. I just can't get started. Well, I've got five tips today on how to motivate yourself because motivation is critical. You know, motivation is when you go and you sit down in your car, you put the key in the ignition, and the motivation is when you turn the key and the engine cranks. The motivation is the fire, it's the fuel, it's the energy that gets you going. You know, if you don't have a will, then there's no way you're gonna get anything done that you don't wanna get done. I remember way back in college, there was this video series or audio series. It was, um, if there's a will, there's a way. And motivation provides the will. Uh, with motivation, you can overcome obstacles. With the motivation, you can overcome the challenges that you're going to face. Life is not easy. There, it's just a series of very, very difficult challenges. And if you're motivated, if you know you're healthy, you can overcome almost any obstacle. If you want results, I don't care if it's in fitness, if it's in relationships, if it's in your career, you know, you need the motivation and you have to do the work. But, you know, the motivation is usually what is going to lead you to do the work. So the first thing you got to do, or what I recommend to find motivation, is know your why. Why do you want to get in shape? Why do you want this relationship to work? Why do you want to accomplish something at work? Why do you want to move up the corporate ladder or you know, whatever ladder you're on for your work? Uh, you need to find your why. There is a phenomenal, uh, completely free TED Talk uh, by Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K, and that's all he talks about is your why. And it's a lot deeper than you think. It has to do with really you know, diving deep into figuring out why you want to do something. Second, marker. Second, how. You need to know the how. I've started different fitness programs and I'm like, huh, this is not for me. If you don't like it, if you don't like the how, getting to your fitness goal, you need to change it. If you don't like, you know, the how of the ways that you're working with your children, you need to change it. If you don't like the how of your work, maybe you need to change your work, maybe you need to change the way that you approach it. But you gotta look at the how. It's important to figure out the way you're gonna get to your goal. The how plays a big role. Third, just do it. Nike, love that one. Sometimes, the motivation comes afterward. I know there are mornings where I come down to my workout and I just don't feel like getting started. Uh, it's just it's one of those mornings and it's just you know a dread picking up a weight. But as soon as I get going, the motivation kicks in. Sometimes you have to start and then the motivation comes. Like I've run many, many marathons, half marathons, 10Ks, 5Ks, 5 miles, you name it, I've run it. Uh, obstacle course races and sometimes again the motivation comes after I start sometimes I dread it I'm like, oh, man, I really don't feel like starting but once you get going you know once you do it the motivation comes fourth how to find your motivation link it to good feelings If whatever you're doing, you dread, if you're like, oh my God, I hate this job, I hate everything about it, you're not going to want to do it, you're not going to be motivated. But if you link it to a good feeling like, hey, I love getting my paycheck at the end of the week, it's going to turn whatever you want to do into something more positive. If you come downstairs or wherever you go to work out, the gym, and all you have is, oh my God, that's going to hurt, I'm going to feel like crap you're not going to want to do it. That's going to 
really hurt your motivation. But if you link it to, oh man, after I get done, my stress levels are lower, I feel less anxiety, I feel self-confident, I have more energy, you're going to really want to do it because you're linking it to good feelings. And then finally, pair up with someone. Having an accountability partner is a huge motivator because you don't want to let a person down. You don't want to say, you know what, I'm going to skip my workout today and uh, you know I'm going to let, let so-and-so down because they're counting on me to do the workout, to motivate them to do the workout. There's energy in people. When you have a group of people all focused on the same goal, if you have a group of people all focused on you know, trying to lose 10 pounds, everybody's going to work together and encourage each other. And then you're also going to feel you know, the peer pressure to do the workout, which creates motivation. So these are five tips to get your motivation going. Uh, I actually read a magazine article uh, where I got these from, and there were 15 tips on how to find your motivation. If you're interested, please message me or comment, and I'll send you uh, the link to the entire article. If you've got the time, please give me a thumbs up, a little heart, a little share. I always appreciate that. That's kind of the fuel that keeps me going. And I hope you guys have a phenomenal Friday and an awesome weekend. we got a three-day weekend. Not that that is as exciting when we're all going into work. And, you know. But anyway, it's still exciting. Have a three-day weekend, and I will see you tomorrow.